Good morning! It's a new week and it is... Okay, it is still morning. It's 11.41. I was almost scared that it was 12 already and I said good morning for no reason. Good morning. I am feeling so good today. Daisy and I cleaned up the house this morning and then I started filming and I got so much stuff done that I needed to get done. I still have more to do, but I do feel confident that I can get it all done because I've had already such a great start to the day. I checked off a couple things that I needed to. I have to film my content for this week. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done my socials or my spicy stuff and it is Wednesday. Yep, it's Wednesday. I just had a really, I just needed a couple of days because this weekend was really long, going to a wedding and everything. I felt like when I got back, I was just so tired. We drove for hours to get to the wedding and then to come back home. So on Sunday, we were just exhausted and it kind of lingered into Monday. That's why I haven't got that much done this whole week. But today, I'm already on a roll. I got a hula hoop and me and my sister started like a little workout routine together. We're basically trying to get fit. We have like not a deadline, but a goal for a month from now to see kind of track where we are. We took pictures yesterday and we had like a very healthy day yesterday, which was so nice. Obviously I didn't get that much work done, but it was so nice. I basically spent the whole entire day on the phone with my sister and we were just on FaceTime and we made healthy lunch together. We worked out together. We went outside and tanned together and just like chatted all day. And so it was nice. And although it was like definitely a wash when it comes to work, it was a completely amazing day when it comes to like spending time with my sister virtually. <laughs> That's kind of how the week's been, which is honestly nice. I feel like I, I really enjoyed that. I wanna do that more. And so we're on this like health journey. Look how shimmery I am. Can you see it? I'm just like glowing. And we got a tan yesterday. We laid out for 30 minutes. 15 15 and thank god we did because today is a gloomy day it fully feels like fall it really does and i love fall so i'm kind of here for it okay that's everything next up on my list is i think i'm gonna take my social media content and my spicy content and then i'll do like admin stuff at the end of the day good morning it's oh god Hello. Oh my god, he looks really sad. Raisin, come here. Yeah, on the door. He's still by the door. I feel like he's gonna get sad after a few days of you being gone. I know. I think he might get the part. You just have to play with him extra for that week and a half. Yeah. Sorry, the puppy was watching for Daisy because she just left the studio. But we decorated for Halloween. We had these like. We had these in the garage, actually, from last year. So we decorated for Halloween. We got some pumpkins last night at Trader Joe's. It's so cold in here. I have a heater. So our house has heating, but it doesn't have AC. So in the summer, um, what are you eating? You need to be watched at all costs. You are bad. You are so bad. Today, <laughs> today I need to edit the videos that I filmed yesterday and upload my content to my Dropbox and stuff. And then I also still have some content that I should probably film today. Not too much, actually. I just have some photos that I wanna do and then maybe one like PPV video. Um, so it should be a pretty good day. I think I'm gonna put him in his crate while I'm doing all of that because we're supposed to be putting him in for like a few times a day for, for a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, I just, threw a toy on him and he looked at me like, did you just throw that on me? Come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm feeling really good today. We watched Baby Reindeer. I would highly recommend. Um, I would highly recommend that movie. I mean, show. It was so good. I'm glad it won an Emmy because it was amazing. I thought it was such a thought provoking um, show. And also if you're really into psychology, I feel like it was a good kind of just, uh, it was kind of a good 
analysis of trauma and like what it does to you um obviously it's obviously like i just mentioned it does have some traumatic events in it so if certain things are kind of triggering i maybe wouldn't watch it it has like a lot of everything so like all of the things you don't want that's kind of what it kind of covers but it was so good and you would think that it would leave me feeling bad but i think because it ended so well and because i watched some of his like i watched him getting his enemy and the way he just said like don't give up like i've been through obviously a lot i've been at like rock bottom you could say and um now he's here and he's like i wanted to say that not in like a cocky way but to say like it will always get better things will get better and there is an up if you're down i think that was the last thing i watched last night was his like him accepting his award and everything and that just put me in the best mood ever so i'm feeling so good today and i think it was like it was very positive i also relate to a lot of the stuff in the show so i think that's why it was just it was so good to me you should definitely definitely watch it out today i have to go to live at 11 so at like 10 30 i'm gonna go live on tiktok and then at 11 i'm gonna go live on OnlyFans. so i'm gonna actually keep him wild right now so that by the time it's 10 30 he will be so tired and exhausted that he'll just go take a nap in his cage i think that's the best plan for this morning i feel like my entire last vlog was just dealing with him it was like not even about um i was trying to make it about work but honestly he has been taking over our entire lives lately that it's been so hard to to do anything else or to like focus on anything else i feel like everything i do has to sort of uh, like be based on his schedule yeah that's been my life lately i guess that's the life of a, pu a, do a puppy mom friday and the dishes are a mess we've got some picking up to do in the bedroom and we're gonna have a little coffee date. I did already have a coffee, but you can't go wrong with two coffees. I'm getting cramps so bad. I definitely gonna start my period. It says I'm gonna start in like two days, I think. Your period may start tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I am feeling it today. My cramps hurt so bad. I did my hair and makeup because I felt like Maybe that would help me get in the mood to shoot some stuff today because I did have some more that I needed to do. But with these cramps happening, I don't know. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that at some point I will just be like, okay, I'm taking a bunch of photos. I'm getting a bunch of content. Let me do it. But in this exact moment, I feel like, ugh. My sister and I are on day four of our moving our bodies, eating healthy train. And so far we've been pretty good. We've done a 30 minute workout every single day, which is a start. I know that's not that long, but it's a start for us because we haven't been working out at all for who knows how long. For me, I think it's been like two years since I've like been consistently working out. Like I've done a workout here and there, but not enough to say that I work out. Um, this weekend we were supposed to have friends over, but they're actually not gonna be able to come because of whatever reasons but it kind of turns out okay because i feel like i need a reset re weekend like we need to clean the house we need to like reset everything yeah and just like kind of be alone i feel like i've been doing stuff every single weekend and this weekend i'm glad i'm i'm happy to just be home with my little family and doing that you know I want to go outside it definitely feels like fall and i'm so about it because i love fall i really love summer because i like to be warm but fall is such a fun season i'm gonna be doing like a little pumpkin spice brunch for a few people that i'm inviting over and i think that'll be really fun so planning that sort of thing i got a bunch of like little decorations and like things to do and i've been saving pumpkin spice recipes so like pumpkin muffins pumpkin pancakes pumpkin drinks like all of that i'm so excited for it monday morning it's 9 a.m and guess what room i'm in i'm in my bathroom ah, my bathroom's done i still have to get um shower glass doors or whatever the shower's over here in the corner um 
So that's like the last thing I need to do. And then I think I want to do something different with the floor. Not like rip it up, but I want to do a different um, coating on it, which should be easy, hopefully. Um, but other than that, yeah, my bathroom is done and I can finally use it. Like the toilet works, sink works. The shower works. You just, I just need the glass doors. And so I put all my things in here and I'm getting ready in here today. And so I thought I would turn on the camera, let you know what's going on. So by the time you're seeing this, the podcast that I've created is about to launch or is already launched. Um, it's called Tools. Read it backwards. I'm just so excited about it. I feel like it's going to be something different for me, something to look forward to. And I think because I just needed a new project to work on and I actually, you know, the first episode is a tell-all of a lot of things, like the reason why I stopped my other podcasts and all of that. So I needed a new podcast and I felt like this one just made the most sense and is going to be like a really fun project for me. So that's what I'm doing and you'll have to watch the first episode to reveal why I've stopped my other podcasts and why I'm starting something new. Daisy is in her office with our friend Kale because they're gonna be performing together in like a month or so, or like a couple weeks, I think less than a month. So she's working on that today. I am working on taking photos today for the podcast. I'm, I have like a really cute cover and I guess by the time you're by the time you're seeing this, you'll be able to see the cover at least. And the cover is going to be kind of like, obviously since it's called tools, I wanted it to be like a big tool, like over the top, like eccentric. And then you know that girl that's kind of like this and she has like a bandana in her hair and she's like pinup girl. It's like a spin off that. So I'm going to take a picture like that. I got a really cute jumpsuit or like, like denim jumpsuit from Good American. And it's actually so cute. I did not think it would fit as a perfectly as it does but it fits so nice so i'm gonna wear that and then i got a pink bandana oh this week is gonna be so very different than a lot of weeks because daisy's actually leaving she's going to korea to write music um which is really really cool but that means I'm going to be alone with the farm and i'm kind of nervous daisy is going to be leaving like a lot this month she goes on a, on this trip then she comes back for like i think a couple of days and then she leaves again so like basically this entire month i'm going to be alone with all the animals and so it's going to be the first time that i'm just taking care of the animals all by myself but yeah this week's going to be very different she leaves on tuesday night very very late like she has to be at the airport at 3 a.m so i'll probably leave here like you know 2 30 or something like that um in the morning so on wednesday basically so she'll be gone wednesday thursday friday like the rest of the week i will say too because daisy goes on tour i'm used to like her going on trips and stuff and i kind of try to use the time to like batch create so much stuff so that when she gets back i have a lot of time to like just spend with her um as she's unwinding and like we're missing each other and stuff and so normally when she's away i get a lot done a lot a lot done so we'll see i mean i don't know how that's gonna go with animals just because every time before we never had animals i'm feeling so good like this weekend we like went to all these different shops got like halloween decorations decorated our house went to world market and like sat at the bar in world market which was so funny we just had like a really good weekend it was a nice reset i feel good about it aaron and blair and i are working on some projects together which has been really fun so we have that to kind of look forward to i love summer but i do think fall is the best season just because the vibes are so good and i'm really feeling it and we're trying to decide what we want to do for like each holiday and just because we have the house we're kind of thinking we just want to stay in the house and like if people want to come over they can come over if um they want to go do what they normally do then they can do that but we kind of we kind of want to be in the house. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup. Please don't lick me. Here's our little baby. He's been so good this morning. He woke himself up, 
took himself out. Well, not out, obviously, because he can't go outside. But um, he took himself to his little lawn that's at the back door and went to the bathroom. And then he came back and was like, come on, wake up. So then we got up. Yesterday morning, we all slept in because it was Sunday. We slept until like almost 10, I think like 9 45 basically 10 and then this morning he woke up bright and rain he was like it's monday let's go here's the look i feel like i feel like it's really really cute and did i show you someone's working on the bathroom how cute is that i'm gonna be like this guess what i just did okay i just filmed Wait, I need to pause this. This morning was literally nuts. So our friend came over and actually two of our friends came over. Friends slash coworkers with Daisy. Well, one of them's not like a coworker, but anyways. Friends slash coworker with Daisy. Daisy's um, working on her show. So she had two people coming to like go rehearse and all that. So they did that this morning. Then one of them stayed a little bit longer and hung out with me and like we had lunch well we didn't have lunch but i had lunch she wasn't hungry and daisy went off to her photo shoot so then when our friend left i started shooting literally my kitchen is nuts right now i don't know if you can tell but there's like clothes everywhere yes clothes i said clothes because i was shooting some tiktoks where i was doing like these different outfits i'm putting together mood boards for the season obviously the season right now it's all about pumpkin spice lattes y'all but for the fall i made this mood board on pinterest follow me on pinterest i'm going to be making them every single season of like what's my vibe how i want to dress how i want to feel what my i want my content to look like so this is the vibe for this season and then i also did another one because i got a ton of clothes sent to me it's a collaboration with this clothing brand and um so then i did another one for winter this is winter coming up and so i did two different tiktoks um and i shot all the clothes i'm literally drenched in sweat right now because i was like just changing 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 i am going to edit all that and yeah so i need to finish editing that i'm all, i'm so close i just feel like the font that i'm using or like the lettering i don't know something about it is just not sitting well with me so i'm still trying to figure out that design aspect of it so sad because i'm not playing with him but i can't play with him all day like it's said online you're only supposed to play with him like 10 minutes per however month old he is and he's only two months two months which means 20 minutes of playtime. and i swear to god he wants to play non-stop like 20 minutes isn't enough it's like non-stop and I, what i've been doing is like 10 minutes here 10 minutes here 10 minutes here but it is adding up and we do not have the time we gotta work and but then i feel so bad because i'm like should i be playing with him like non-stop like i just feel so bad but then i also have to like do my job i don't know i got this shirt this weekend when we were like out and about we got so many things i feel like i'm gonna show you what we've done to the house i can't show you the front yard but we got tombstones and we put tombstones all over the house all over the front yard and we have like um a, we have like a wreath or something like that we have these little pumpkin candles oh i just have to show you these these are just so cute these are like little pumpkins and they're actually like all detached so they're kind of like movable which is really strange but they're they're awesome they're super cute oh my god i have tracking on this whole time um and then over here obviously there's something else sitting in there that that can move but we got little pumpkins we got little lights we have all this up here and daisy got like this little toad look at it it's like a little hocus pocus toad thing um with the green candles and like green pumpkins this area is it's starting to come together these plants aren't going to be here i don't know why they're there but we got like that we have the table we're still waiting on the green couch um and then we were looking at bar carts to put right here for like all of our alcohol and stuff we got these flowers yesterday i think they're really pretty and then we have all this pumpkin stuff we already have this pumpkin plate i got these pumpkin cupcake like things silicone molds so i'm excited to do that um pumpkin candies 
these look like desserts honestly but they're candles i'm obsessed little cups more pumpkin candies i don't know why it's in like a bear i feel like they reuse this from like a different season or something this container but they're all like little pumpkin candies um pumpkin tray look how cute that pumpkin tray is and then i also just needed some of these and now i have to put away all of these clothes that i have out there's my bathroom that's finally done look how pretty it looks it looks amazing i'm so happy with it good morning it is thursday actually let me back you the fuck up bitch no i'm just kidding um <laughs> anyway i'm in a good mood um it's thursday this week has gone by so fast and i haven't gotten anything done so that's bad i've just kind of taken it easy this week yesterday i had a giant headache so i just did nothing and i drank water so that i could combat the headache it was like a migraine almost like it was in my eyes i couldn't really see so i just laid down and listened to music and pet raisin and like that was it that's basically all i did yesterday i did shoot one piece of content that is hopefully i'm gonna watch it back hopefully it was good but i i know i had like a massive headache so i i don't know how the video came out but i did shoot something which is great um at least i did something but now it's thursday like i said and i have a list of things to do that i haven't done all week so today I have a lot of shooting that I'm going to do, which I'm actually kind of excited about because I love shooting and I'm just like in this creative spiral right now. Like I feel really excited to create and I love when I have these waves because obviously creating is like my favorite thing ever. I love making something. I love filming. I love editing. I love putting something out into the world. I just, I love the whole process. So when I get in the waves of like feeling inspired, I just feel so good. So I'm actually really excited to shoot today. I have some stuff for OnlyFans that I need to shoot. I have some stuff for TikTok and then some stuff for YouTube. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I already got ready. I definitely had like a slow morning i did all the pets first i did their laundry which i should probably check on um and now it's 10 o'clock i got up around like eight so i haven't been up for that long but it's definitely felt like a really good morning i wrote down everything in my notes that i needed to get done and really it's not that much even though i didn't work all week because i'm going to take my time with everything and like instead of writing a long list of all these crazy things that i need to do i wanted to narrow it down to like the most important things for this week because there are other stuff that i think are i should get to eventually um but yeah since it's the end of the week i just wanted to like narrow it down and like really spend my time making really good stuff for those things daisy left for korea yesterday morning at like 3 a.m. So yesterday was my first day on my own. And unfortunately it was the day I had a giant headache all day. My friend Kale's coming over tomorrow. We're having like a little work day. So I'm gonna leave my emails and editing for tomorrow. Shooting is all gonna be today. Um, but yes, she is coming over tomorrow and we're gonna have like a nice little work from home day and maybe like have dinner or lunch together or something like that. And then on Saturday, I have a very busy day. I'm going to a picnic with a friend. And I guess there's like some other people going as well. So it's like a group thing. I don't know who's going, but I know like my friend that invited me. So I'm going to that during the day. And then I'm going to Morgan's in the evening because she's having a spooky dinner. And I have the cutest outfit for that i want to show you also oh my god i keep calling raisin and rufus by each other's names and i feel so bad like i don't know why i keep doing that um that won't stay shut i need to do something about that also our house is done like the inside is completely done i am only waiting on shower doors for my bathroom which oh i wanted to bring up a conversation about that yeah i'm gonna show you this in one second but 
yeah, our entire house is done from the inside. We, we still have our garage that needs to be completed. Our garage is unfinished. And then the outside of our house and like our yard and stuff. But the inside of the house is the part that mattered to me the most. So that's why I wanted to get that done first. Cause like obviously we're gonna be living in it. The house is literally done. I'm just waiting on shower doors for my bathroom. I have like the guest bathroom, I guess. Like it doesn't have a bathtub, um, but I chose, like I wanted that bathroom because Daisy takes baths and I don't, and I wanted a standing shower. And so like, if it were, if it were me, we wouldn't even have a bathtub. <laughs> like I don't, I don't ever use a bath. In her bathroom, we have a bathtub. And then in my bathroom, I don't have a bathtub. I just have a standing shower. And we did it that way because like, obviously usage wise she would be using that bathroom anyways and and i i also feel like people like question like why don't you guys just use the same bathroom and that's like totally fine but we have two bathrooms and i'm like i'm gonna use my house to its a completion i know some people have like a guest room that's not me i'm gonna use every single room in my house and i will make rufus what are raising what are you doing come here i'm paying for this house so why would i have a guest room you know what I mean? Like, why would I have a an empty room that I don't use when I'm like paying for this space? To me, this doesn't make sense. So that's why I'm like, we're using both bathrooms. Like, we're not leaving one just for guests. We're not leaving a room just for guests. Like, no, we are using every single space. Like, even our garage, we are using literally every corner, every inch of this house um, for ourselves. And obviously when guests come over, they can use all the spaces. And I have a pullout bed um, in my office so that room can be used as a guest room but I don't want like unless I had like a mansion I just see no reason to not use every corner of this house for myself you know it's like I want to be selfish in some ways and I feel like I'm very generous in a lot of other ways but in this way I want to be selfish so anyways that's just my little rant on like using the space that you live in like I, I just feel like that's why we don't i mean i still use her bathroom obviously like if i get up in the middle of the night that bathroom's closest so i'm just gonna use that and eventually we want to turn the master into like a master suite so it'll have a bathroom connected to it because we have actually this space for it anyway that's my little rant about using my space but here is the dress i'm gonna wear to morgan's dinner because she's doing like a spooky like dark dinner she's like i want it to be glamorous i don't want it to be like halloween it's more spooky season glamour so this is the dress and i have not worn it literally the tags i'm pretty sure yeah the tag is still on it i got this when i went to las vegas because i thought we were gonna go to a really fancy like show and we just never went um and so I have this dress and it's like perfect for this event. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna do. Quiet time has commenced. Is that the right word? I have been on the phone with my friend Colton for, I think we were on the phone for like two hours. Two hours minimum, let me see. Okay, two hours exactly. We were on the phone for two hours exactly. My phone started overheating. I saw that there's a new season of Love is blind and I'm really excited to see it, but I'm probably gonna wait till later today because I want to get through some work stuff. I shot a ton of OnlyFans stuff. So I'm halfway through everything that I need to do. I'll definitely shoot more tomorrow morning before, before my friend comes over because she'll be getting here around 12. So I'll have all morning to shoot just like i just have like a couple more things to do then i did some emails while i was on the phone with colton he was like doing other things too we were just kind of like chatting here and there like if we were like co-workers or something um so i do have some editing to do but like i said i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow when my friend's here so that we can just have like a sit down work day but i've been shooting kind of like a day in my life for tiktok um today so i'm probably gonna edit that today so i can maybe post it or post it tomorrow because i did post today already so that's good you should see what i made for lunch today it was so good the animals are all taking a little a little nap this is the teriyaki that i made beef teriyaki and then i chopped some cucumber 
and warmed up some rice. It was like a beef teriyaki rice bowl. Really, really good. Since all the animals are so tired, I'm kind of like... I think I need a little pick-me-up. I feel like I need a little latte, a little coffee, maybe a little tea with some caffeine in it, um, and a biscotti. That sounds really nice. But I think first I'm going to shoot my, like a couple few little clips that I need for my TikTok video. It is such a beautiful day out. It was a little bit foggy this morning, a little bit overcast, which is actually so nice. It felt like a cozy little fall morning. But now it's actually perfect out, like sunny and 75. I did all of the animals laundry this morning. I feel super accomplished. There's no dishes in the sink. I did eat out of a bowl, so I need to clean up that dish. But other than that, dishes are clean, house is clean. I feel really good. I just talked to Daisy too, and she's been having fun. She got to Korea last night at 11 o'clock our time, which was four o'clock their time, 4 p.m. And then she had dinner and went to sleep and she just woke up. She said she has to start her day soon. So she, we had a little chat and then she is going back to sleep for 30 minutes before she has to go get ready and then like start her writing camp. She's out there because she's writing for um, some artists. So that's really cool. I'm excited for her. Kale's here. <laughs> Are you playing? 